Hello, dear students. I am Zalina Satilganova, and I am glad to be with you today and explain past continuous. We will talk about differences between past simple and past continuous. I will also explain the rules of using past continuous in the English language. Let's begin. What's the difference between past simple and past continuous? By the way, past continuous is also called past progressive in English language. Past simple is about an action that happened in the past. Past continuous is also about an action that happened in the past, but continued for some period of time. For example, I worked is past simple. I was working is past continuous. So, as I mentioned, past simple is an action that happened at a specific point in time. And past continuous is about an action that continued during a period. Now, let's look at this time frame or timeline. For example, let's imagine now we have 8 p.m. in the evening, right? It is now. And we want to say about an action that happened in the past. For example, 9 a.m. It means 9 o'clock in the morning. I started work at 9 a.m. And 5 p.m. is 5 o'clock in the afternoon. At 5 o'clock, I finished work. And in between, between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., I was working. And this is the past continuous. Okay? Now, let's move on. And I want to explain the rules of past continuous and ing form. The basic rule is to add ing to the base form. So, the formula is the base form of a verb plus ing. For example, work plus ing will become working. Listen plus ing will become listening. The next rule about ing form is verbs ending in silent e which means when we don't hear this E at the end of a verb, we need to delete the E and add ing. For example, write ends with this silent E. We just add ing and we delete the E at the end of write. We receive writing. This is past continuous. Observe plus ing will be observing. Explode plus ing. Let's guess what will be the past continuous of this verb. Okay, it will be exploding. So the next rule is about verbs ending in ie. In this case, you need to change the IE to Y and add ING. For example, die plus ING will become dying. Tie plus ING, what's the verb here? Correct, it will be tying. Verbs ending in double E or EE -E will need just adding ING. For example, see plus ING will become seeing. Free plus ING will become freeing. Okay. Verbs ending in a single vowel and a single consonant except W, X, and Y, for one-syllable verbs, we need to double the consonant and add ING. 
For example, run will become running. As you can see, the single consonant N becomes double. And we just add ing. Cut will be cutting. And sit will be sitting. Good. The rule about the verbs ending in a single vowel and a single consonant, except W, X, and Y, if the second syllable is stressed, we double the consonant and add ing. If the second syllable is not stressed, we just add ing. For example, admit will become admitting. What do you think? What will be the post-progressive of commit? It will be committing. As you can hear, the second syllable is stressed in these two verbs. If the second syllable is not stressed, we just add ing. For example, target will become targeting. And visit? Correct, it will become visiting. Verbs ending in C will need the ending king or K, I, N, G at the end. For example, panic. As you can see, the ending is C. In this case, we add K, I, N, G. Mimic. What do you think? What will be the past progressive form? Right, it will be mimicking. Please pay attention that there are some verbs that don't have a continuous form. We call them non-continuous verbs or stative verbs. For example, like, know, want, love, hate, suppose, and many, many others are these verbs which don't have a continuous form. Let's look at this picture and at this sentence here. The chocolate cake was nice. I was wanting one more slice. As you can see, we don't say I was wanting. We should say I wanted one more slice. So, here we only need past simple with the verb want, okay? Let's look at some rules of building affirmative or positive forms of past continuous. For example, I was working when you called me. Please pay attention to the first part highlighted in red. You can change this part for all other pronouns. But please pay attention to the verb to be in past simple, in singular and plural. Okay? You were working. He, she, it was working. We were working. And they were working. Just pay attention to the past simple form of the verb to be, okay? Here is the formula of making up of an affirmative or positive sentence. Subject plus to be in past simple, the verb with ing ending and object. Is it clear to you students? Let's watch a short explanation video about past continuous. Your task is to read the sentences and listen to the pronunciation of them.
Students, now we learned how to form positive sentences. Would you like to learn how to form negative sentences and question sentences? Okay, we can do it together. So, students, let's look at this sentence. I was not, or the contracted version is wasn't, working when you called me. The first part in red is past continuous. You can say that with all other pronouns. But please pay attention to the verb to be in past simple, in singular and plural. Okay? So, for example, you were not or weren't working. He, she, it was not or wasn't working. We were not or weren't working. And they were not or weren't working. Here is the formula of building up a negative sentence. Subject plus to be in past simple and plus not, then the verb with ing ending and object. So now let's move on to the question form number one. For example, was he working when you called him? As you can see, the first part highlighted in red is the past continuous. And we shouldn't forget the question mark at the end of the sentence. You can change this first part in red for all other pronouns. Again, don't forget to pay attention to the verb to be in the past. Was I working? Were you working? Was he, she, it working? Were we working? And were they working? And here we have the formula of building a question form without question word. We have to be in past simple, then the subject, and the verb with ing and the question mark at the end of the sentence. So, this explanation was about questions without question words. Now, we have question form 2, which means questions with the question words. For example, we have the following question words. Who, what, why, where and how. Here is the formula. We just add to be in past simple to these question words and then subject and the verb with ing with the question mark at the end of the sentence. Here are some examples. Let's look at these sentences with the question word why. Why was she crying? With the question word where. Where was she going? And with the question word what? What were they eating? Was it clear, students? All right, let's move on. You learned and revised general rules of forming positive, negative and question sentences in past continuous. Now it's time to learn how to form more complex sentences in past progressive with the conjunctions when and while. When and while are used in storytelling or describing the actions and events that happened in the past. We use these conjunctions to connect two actions that happened in the past. We use when with past simple, while with past progressive. While is used in front of a long action. As we remember, while is used to connect two actions happening at the same time. So the structure will be long action, which is past progressive, while another long action in past progressive. And here is an example. 
I was listening to music while I was eating dinner. Listening to music and eating are two long actions. And we connect these two actions that are happening at the same time with the conjunction while. While is also used when a short action interrupts a long action. For example, we have a short action which will be past simple, then while and a long action in past progressive. For example, I got a flat tire while I was driving. I got a flat tire is a short action, which is past simple, and I was driving is a long action, because driving is a long process. This is the past progressive, okay? We also have the conjunction when. When is used when we described an action in the past that interrupted another action. Here is the structure. Long action, which is past progressive, when, and a short action, which is past simple. Let's look at this example. I was driving when I got a flat tire. So driving is a long process, right? So I was driving is a long action. Then we have when, a specific point, I got a flat tire. This is a short action and past simple. Well, students, now let's exercise a little bit with the conjunction while. Here is a short conversation. Please try to guess which verbs should be in the gaps. The first gap will be filled with the verb were. So we have what were you doing? This is the past continuous. While you were flying to Germany. This is a question and here comes the answer. I was working while I was flying to Germany. So here is one more exercise for you with the conjunction while. Look at the gaps here and here are the verbs which need to be in these gaps. So happen is a regular verb, as we remember, and the past simple form will be happened. We have sleep and come. Come is an irregular verb, right? What will be the past simple form of this verb? Right, it will be came. Please think a little bit, look at the sentences carefully and also at the pictures and try to fill in the gaps. Let's check our answers together. So, what happened while you were sleeping? This was a question. And here comes the answer. My grandparents came while I was sleeping. Here we have when. And the verbs do, ring, take a bath. Look at the sentences, think, and fill in the gaps. Let's check our answers. The first sentence is a question sentence. What were you doing when the phone rang? Okay, and the answer will be, I was taking a bath when the phone rang. Was it difficult, students? I think it was not so difficult. I think now you can do some exercises yourself. I prepared three short exercises. Here comes the first one. 
your task is to put the verbs in brackets into past continuous affirmative form. For example, when I woke up this morning, the birds and the word in the brackets is sing. So, the sentence will be, when I woke up this morning, the birds were singing. So, next two sentences are yours. Please do it yourself. So, let's check the first answer. The telephone rang while I was taking a bath. And the second one? They were cooking dinner when we arrived. Do you have the same answers? Okay, good students. Next exercise. Here, you need to put the verbs in brackets into past continuous question form. Let's look at the example. The words in the bracket are It rain when you left the party. The correct answer will be was it raining when you left the party? So, sentence one and sentence two are yours. Please do it yourself. So, let's check your answers. I saw you and Marat yesterday in Bishkek. Where were you going? And the second sentence. What was he doing when I called him? And exercise three, you need to put the verbs in brackets into past continuous negative form. Please use the contracted form of was. For example, was not should become wasn't. Okay? Here is an example. Nina was called because she and the word in the bracket is wear a jacket. So, the sentence will be Nina was called because she wasn't wearing a jacket. So, look at these two sentences and do it yourself. Are you ready to check your answers? Okay, let's do it. Sentence number one. I'm sorry I didn't call you yesterday. My telephone wasn't working. The second sentence. Sorry? What did you say? I wasn't listening. Do you have similar answers? Very good, students. Well, students, our lesson came to its end. I say thank you for being with me today. Please take care of yourself. Goodbye.